Hey, Anthony. You working the retirement party tonight? Nah, I'm coming for Brittany so she can work it. <laughs> oh, when Ms. Becky asked, tell her you like the red dress, all right? The red one. Red one, all right, thanks for the tip. Oh, good, you're home. Quick, which dress do you like? Red one. Gary? Sorry. It's from my mom. Chief Travis, time to make rounds. Yeah, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Besides, I think Tomlinson's uh, campaigning hard in the corner. Well, here is a cute couple that could use a drink. Ooh, thank you. I'll be back. You got any uh, mineral water? I think so. Why? You on duty? Always. Yeah, well, why don't you tell your buddy that? Pretty sure he's on number four. Hey, boss. Hey, bud. Question for you. If you and me both are here, well, who's out watching the town tonight? Welcome to the safest place in East Bank. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. So they're going to announce a new chief tonight? No, not tonight. Still got to jump through a few more hoops. Oh, OK. I see they got you out here like a circus cat, huh? Yeah, something like that. Well, you know, I've seen cops jump in the hoops before. But then all it became was budgets and council meetings for them. I feel like all we did was lose a good cop. I hear you. Sir, there were only two waitresses working this huge party. You think I should grab a tray and pitch in? Janet, it is a party. Go have a good time. Well, I'm here and I'm available. Hey, Sergeant Travis. Kevin. Anna, you're nice. Hey, Thank you. hey uh, have you seen Chris? I have not seen her. She's still on leave. Uh, kiss her brother. I'm gonna keep moving, boss. All right, bud. Talk later. Me too. All right. Hey, have a good time. Sorry. Uh, no offense, but we kind of hope you don't get the chief position. Really? Let's just say things are a lot calmer with a certain someone not around. <laughs> I think we're all kind of ready for Tom Monson to move on, if you know what I mean. Well, there he is. Speaking of. That's our cue. Travis, mm. sincerely, mm. and I mean this, I think you were going to make one heck of a police chief. What are you driving out? <laughs> <laughs> you wish. Yeah, I do. Tell you what, let's settle it right now, tonight, not Tuesday. Let's do it old school like yeah. they used to do. Come on. Uh, I don't want to hurt you. <sighs> Just messing with you. You drink, don't you? Who's that little waitress at? Hey, how's Chris? Took a little, a little leave dealing with her brother's suicide. Suicide? It was an accidental overdose. Yeah, that's what we're telling people. That's just for her benefit. I mean, it's kind of obvious what happened, right? I mean, come on. Hey, Chris is a tough cookie. She'll dry up those tears. She'll be out there on the beat in no time. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, Tipsy. Hey, this legit, man. I got a title in my name. I don't care about your car. Talk to me about this. Nope. Don't see that. And I ain't say nothing until I call my lawyer. It's a pretty sweet ride. 78 Corvette. It's the 25th anniversary. Yeah. Whoa, 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 what you doing? Are you crazy? Think a 40 will make it all the way through that engine block? No, 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 no. All right. Give me the bag. Give me the bag. Them are good fellas. Fentanyl, right? 
Now, if I want to bag me some good fellas, who do I go to? Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, you can't use my name. Marco. Marco Rodriguez. He's the exclusive one around here. Now, where do I find Marco? On the east side. He runs it out of his gym. Over on Mirkwood. All right. East Bank Police Department thanks you for your assistance. You know he's untouchable. Yeah. He's got immunity. I'm the inside. Inside where? Your boys. Got a pig in his pocket, keeping him out for a cut. A dirty cop. And it's been an absolute pleasure to serve on the U.S. Chief. I mean, East Bank, it's better, safer, stronger because of your leadership. We're going to have a tough time filling your shoes, but Travis, we're going to do our best, right? Hail to the Chief. To the Chief! Can I finally get a word in with East Bank's favorite cop? Mrs. Scott. Mm, for now. So you flying solo tonight? Uh, no, uh, my wife Becky's somewhere. Well, hopefully she won't mind if I borrow you for a while. What is this part where you take me around to shake hands and kiss babies? Well, I don't see any babies, but I'm sure we could find something for you to kiss. Well, if it means the chief's rear end, I think Tom lutzen has got that covered. Besides, I'm not really into posturing. Don't worry about him. It's the hearing on Tuesday that matters. I'm not looking forward to that. Well, between you and me, you have a lot of fans on that panel. The mayor, the district attorney, me. I don't believe we've met. Uh, this is the city manager, Amanda Scott. This is my wife, Becky. Oh, the lucky Mrs. Travis. I like your dress. Well, I need to keep moving. Nice to meet you. Was that a job interview? No. Not any job I want. No, I will take another one of those. I will be right back. So, uh, how are we looking for Tuesday? Well, um, I wasn't able to get to the mayor, uh, but I do have two definite. And the third is still holding out for more. And I'd be willing to bet that is... <clears throat> be willing to bet that's Jimmy Edwards. Uh-oh. Hodge Boyd. Real? Yeah. Hodge. Boy. Grew a backbone, huh? Uh, cut him loose? I mean, do we even need him? Nah, it's too risky. Just give the man what he wants. He wants a lot. I'll make it happen. I knew you would. Hey, sorry. Uh, I was just getting your drink. You're working you hard. Make good money? Uh, no, not really. But it's work. You do a lot of side gigs? A little here, a little there? Yeah, when I can. Chasing dreams ain't cheap. 
You know, I come across a lot of business owners, they're always looking for some side help. There's guys with more money than they can count. Stop by sometime for an interview, see if we can find you something. <laughs> really? What kind of work? That's what the interview's for. Here, put your information in there. We'll schedule something and get you on that fast track to your dreams. Okay, sounds good. Hey, is there any way you could stop by my house at lunch? I have something I want you to see. So what's going on? Well, you see all the timestamps, but there's no information. Has it been deleted? Yeah, looks like it. That's weird. These are supposed to be read only. Is there a backup somewhere? Uh, yes and no. The oldest backup we have goes back about a year. But this all predates that. There's gotta be something. You could track down the original paper records, which would mean a trip down to the seventh circle of hell known as the archives. <laughs> Are you working a case? I thought you were still on leave. I just, I need the distraction. Well, we certainly miss you down at the precinct. Hannah says hi, by the way. Nice. Is there any chance you want to take Hannah on a hot date to the archives? Really? Really? That would mean a lot. Sure. I mean, I can ask her, see what she says. You're the best. So are things going well for you two? Actually, can I ask you something? I, I mean, you're a girl, a woman, right? Pretty sure I am. Do you think she'll like it? Wow. It's been like, what, a couple of months? Isn't that like, kind of quick? Well, when you know, you know. It's beautiful. You did great. I am truly honored to be considered for this prestigious position. No, that just sounds pretentious. As someone who has served the East Bank community for the entirety of my career, and that just makes me sound old. You still haven't opened it? I can't, not right now. How's the big speech coming along? It's not. Do you need some help? I need some motivation. Are you having second thoughts? I'm having God thoughts. I mean, has God ever, like, put a verse in your head that just zeroes in on the one thing you're dealing with? Sure. So, Joe sends this to the guys. It's verse three. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. Mm. Every time I start writing this speech, that verse pops into my head. What does it mean to you? It means I don't have to be chief. 
I mean, it seems like the most logical progression in my career, but that's the problem. I'm only doing it because it's what I think I should do. Not because it's what I'm called to do. I mean, does that even make sense? It makes perfect sense. So you'd be okay with being married to a lowly sergeant for a bit longer? As long as he keeps listening to God, he could be the janitor for all I care. I think Tomlinson deserves it. He's driven, he's got seniority, he likes all that political stuff. Maybe that should be your speech. Instead of telling them why you're the man for the job, tell them why Tomlinson is instead. You're smart. I can write that. I can write that. You got it? Check out the arresting officer on all of them. Travis? Oh. Uh, What's up? Uh, Hannah and I have location tracking, so... Oh, so I bet you're in trouble. Uh, nah. I have my location scrambled, so random coordinates are sent. Oh. Well, when you know, you know. Appreciate you helping me today. Uh, for sure, no problem. Everything cool at Precinct 1? Just need someone I can trust. Talk to me. What's going on? Well, it's just street talk, but this Marco guy might have someone on the take. Yeah, what are you thinking? I don't know. Possibly Travis. Maybe. Sergeant Travis? I work with the good, the bad, and the ugly. Travis, he's one of the good guys. I really hope you're right. It's fentanyl. It's about your brother. Not anymore. This is a private facility. My bad, man. I was, I was just messing around. You Marco? My man Tisby said I can come see you about some work. I don't know no tipsy. You know what? Why don't you, uh, why don't you try that fitness center across from the car wash? Soccer moms will love a big boy like you. Oh, 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 wait, wait a minute. Me and Tipsy, man, we, we was together on the inside, right? He was like, yo, when you get out, go see my man Marco. He good for us. So come on, man, hook me up. Why don't you wait here? All right? Cool. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, man. We're cool. Tell your boy Tipsy he needs to settle up and he needs to shut up. All right. I don't know.
Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, dude, that, that, that was cute, man. What a poser. What? Are you okay? Yeah. You're not even a little shook up? For what, that guy? Man, please. Dallas Game Bangs would have ate him up and used his bones for a hood on him, man. He definitely up to something, though. Yeah. That's for sure. Travis? Hi. I don't know if you remember me. Kelly, right? Yeah. Hey, Kelly, this is my wife, Becky. Oh, hi. Yes, of course. How are you? I'm good. You have two girls. Right? I do. How are they? <laughs> They're good. Uh, Cammy just started kindergarten, and Murray is finally sleeping through the night. Oh, I bet you love that. <laughs> I do, yeah. Mama loves her beauty sleep. Um, here. What's that? It's, uh... Well, you guys really helped me get through some things. And uh, I'm in a much better place now. So I just wanted to make sure that I got this back to you. That was a gift. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to that? Maybe you run into someone who needs some help. Just give it to them. Pay it forward. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I can get everyone's attention, please. I'd like to call this special hearing to order. Can we hurry these things along? Because those largemouth bass won't catch themselves. <laughs> uh, Chief Collins, we sure are gonna miss you around here. The only thing I'm gonna miss is that water hazard on the fourth hole. <laughs> I think you know the one I'm talking about. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Uh, with that said, I'd like to hand things over to our city manager, Amanda Scott. Amanda? Thank you. Each candidate will have five minutes to make a statement, followed by 20 minutes for questions. Sergeant Tomlinson, from Precinct 1, we will have you go first. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, Chief Collins, it's both a pleasure and an honor to stand here before you this evening for consideration of this role. You know, a good chief needs to have both strong leadership skills and personal integrity. I've known Sergeant Travis for a long time, and I consider him a friend. But unfortunately, there's a few things I need to bring to the attention of the committee that's gathered here tonight. You may have heard that his best friend, Joe Anderson, was picked up for solicitation not long ago. But what you didn't hear was Sergeant Travis calling me, asking me to drop the charges. Yeah. And did you also know that he has a convicted felon living in his house right now? Not, and not Joe, his best friend felon. It's a different one. How many felons does he hang out with, is what I ask. And I think everybody's familiar with his daughter, Katie. Sweet Katie. Sweet girl. Let me tell you a little bit about Katie, if, if you have a minute. Shoplifting. 
disorderly conduct, public intoxication, DWI, possession of a controlled substance, aggra you know what, I'm gonna spare you. This list is too long and we don't have time this evening, but I think you get the picture, don't you? And let me tell you something, the Katie Travis apple did not fall far from that tree because Travis's own mother is currently incarcerated. Can't make this stuff up. So I will put to you, the fine people of East Bank, that not only is Sergeant Travis unfit to lead this department, the man is barely fit to lead his own family. Hey, I see you brought your pappy's girlfriend tonight, Travis. How much you pay her this time? Let him go, let him go. You know what? I didn't come here to challenge you. I was gonna endorse you. But I guess he's shown you all what kind of chief you can expect. You all see what this guy's about. You want that running this department? I don't think so. Yo, it was a lady detective. I don't know who the other dude was. Yeah, information's good. So what's the play? Are you gonna pull in? Something he said tonight, I just... I can't let it go. Let's get a good night's rest. And we'll decide what to do in the morning. I can't wait until the morning. It's waited long enough. Let all bitterness and anger be put away from you. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. Be careful. Be safe. I love you.
Sergeant Tomlinson? Well, Chief Tomlinson now, so... What are you doing here? Did you make that call? Chris, I made the call on you a long time ago. Your brother... He was the only thing holding you back. But he's gone now. Take it. It's yours. What is it? First payment of many. I'm not dirty. Nobody says you are. Then what is it? And there's certain local businessmen that truly appreciate the good work that we do. And they like to show their appreciation with uh, occasional financial contribution. It's drug money, isn't it? You're the pig in Marco's pocket. No, Chris. Yeah, I was totally wrong. I do not work for Marco. Marco works for me. You know what? There are others. So what's it gonna be, Sergeant Tanner? Looks to me like you can either join us, or you can join your brother. Thank you for coming. Did you get my letter? I didn't. I didn't come here because of your letter. I, I came here because I should have done this months ago. But uh, I know you. I know you're getting out soon. I just felt like I should do this here. I lived in resentment as long as I can remember. And uh, the people closest to me, they paid for it, especially Katie. And I didn't think there was any way out of it. But then I met someone that changed everything. Someone that pursued me. He was patient, yeah. He never gave up. And I began to understand about forgiveness and, and what it meant to be forgiven. And he gave me Katie back. And he made me a new person. And he told me to come here. <laughs> I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to listen. If you're talking about Jesus,
a second. 